गाइस एंजॉय द वीडियो यस ओके सो आई कैन सी अ अ वंडरफुल गैदरिंग नाउ सो लेट्स बिगिन या so i welcome you all to the second session of 98 percentiles revision marathon now i have some very important information to be given to your parents so quickly go and grab your parents guys yeah and let me know when your parents are here wait i can see if your parents joining yes hey parents welcome to the second session of a uh, revision marathon presented by 98 percentile so a small disclaimer here that we will be recording the session for quality and marketing purposes so keep your smiling faces on now let me introduce myself my name is amrita and i'm a math enthusiast as well as a physicist I like to spend time listening to music, singing, watching informational videos, and also solving challenging puzzles. Now, who are we? Now, all this is brought to you by 98th Percentile, and we 98th Percentile are online e-learning company, and we cater to the grades one to twelve of math, grade one to eight of English, and coding classes according to the students' age as well as their interests. We are also proud to announce our public speaking courses that are coming to you very soon. Now, what is special about our classes is that we have a live environment with interactive classrooms where we have just a small group of four students per teacher, so that we can commit personalized attention. Now, our aim over here is to fix all the skill gaps the students have in the current as well as the previous grades and focus on their acceleration. Now. we are here for revision marathon and what is this revision marathon is that wonderful opportunity opportunity brought to you guys by 98 percentile where you can cover five domains of grade 5 based on the common core state standards in just five weeks and we will be utilizing zoom and kahoot here for the game based learning event and by the end of five weeks your children will be ready for the upcoming exams Isn't that great? Now here are a few guidelines. Kindly go through them. Let me also mention a few of them for you. We have handpicked those topics in which most of the children find difficulty in. And since we have a large gathering over here, addressing individual doubts would be difficult. So kindly leverage the chat section. again students who are enrolled with us you can seek help from your 98 percentile teacher in case you have any individual doubts and students who are not enrolled with us you can always apply for free trial classes with us kindly have a look at the link which is given in your chat section there okay so what all are we all are we going to cover in the revision marathon are the five domains of grade 5 operations and algebraic thinking numbers and operations in base 10 fractions measurement and data as well as geometry so today we will be covering these following skills kindly have a look at them so thank you parents for your valuable time but there is just one last request that before you leave please help your child to set up the devices for the kahoot so you have already done the first step which is required that is logging into zoom using your desktop or your laptop now you just have to do the second step that is you will require a smartphone or a tablet through which you have to log into kahoot.it a game will be game pin will be shared on your screen you just have to plug in that game pin enter a unique id as your name as your nick name and then we are good to go give me a thumbs up if you guys have already logged in
Yes, I can see the thumbs up coming. Below Chen. Yes. Are you guys all ready? Yes, I can see the thumbs up. Okay. So let's begin. And your game pin will be here any moment. Okay, there's your game pin, guys. Seven three seven eight double six eight. Wait. Most of all, I have joined. So let's begin. All the best. Do well, guys. Yeah. Okay. Your first question is right in front of you. In just few seconds. Yes. Here we are. The value of one in the number three thousand one hundred two is blank. The value of one in two thousand thirteen. Great, yes, the right answer is 10 times and you guys have given the right answer. Very good guys. Now, how do we have this as our answer? Let's see. So, let me know if you guys can see me writing, okay? Yeah, give me a thumbs up if you can see me. So they have given 3,102 and 2,113. So if we see that we have 3,102 here, that means one is, is in the hundreds place. So let me write 100 here. Is blank the value of one in 2013. One here is in the tens place. So 10. What should be multiplied by 10 to make it 100? It is 10. That's why the answer is 10 times. Yeah, those who hadn't given the right answer, I guess you guys have understood this. Let's see how many of you are in, on the scoreboard now. Great, Akshay, you're, you're on the great, in the top one. You're the one who has stopped. Very good. And all others, great going, guys. You can do better. Let's see. So the second question is, solve the equation 298.785 times 10 raised to the power of 4. see that most of you guys have found this question difficult now the right answer for this question is the option green 
why is this the right answer? Let's see. We have 298.785 times 10 raised to the power of 4. What does 10 raised to the power of 4 mean is that 10 is multiplied by itself four number of times. So we would get the answer as 10,000 with four zeros in it. Now, when 298.785 is multiplied by this 10,000, 10,000, we can see this decimal point will be shifted. Now I have a question for you guys. Use your chat section and let me know that where will this point get displaced? By will it, will it go to the right or will it go to the left? Okay, I give you 10 seconds of time. Just write left or left, left or right in the chat section there quickly. Wait, I can see the answers coming. You guys, you know, do you want a trick to remember this? Yeah, there's a very easy trick with, with which you can remember which side this decimal point can be shifted when you multiply and which side the decimal point will be shifted when you divide. The trick is do little math revision. Math revision. Now, why have I written this? Take all the first letters from these words, write B L M R. Okay? B with L and M with R. When you're dividing, the decimal point would move towards the left. And when you are multiplying, the decimal point will be shifted towards the right. Will that be easy to remember, guys? Yes, great, Nicole, I can see you. Yes. So now you can tell me the answer, isn't it? Now, when we are doing multiplication, we are moving it to the right. We have to move it, how many places? Four places to the right. One, two, three, and four. So we would have to add one more zero and giving us the answer 2,987,850. Yeah, I hope this trick was nice. Yeah, I hope you like that trick. Let's see who is still topping in the scoreboard. Okay, great. So Rakpur has stopped and you see anything can change anytime. And uh, Swasin, you have reached the highest or you have come up with 14 places. Very good, very good. Let's see the next question now, guys. Okay, solve the division problem and arrange them in ascending order. see that only few of you could answer and uh, most of you have different answers over here let's see why this option the green option is the right one okay we can see that a same number is divided by different exponents of 10 now what happens when a number is divided by a small number and when the number is divided by a bigger number for example if i'm dividing 5 by 5 a bigger number you will be getting one. Whereas the same number five is divided by a smaller number, which is one, you are going to get a bigger number as your answer. So smaller the denominator, bigger the answer. Bigger the denominator, smaller the answer. Or the quotient will be in this way, respectively. Here, if we see in the question which we have got, you have 10 raised to the power of one, which is 10. 10 raised to the power of five, which is having one with five zeros. How, what is that called? Is it 100,000? And then we have 1,000, and then we have 10,000. So the least denominator is D, the highest or the biggest denominator is C. So we have to put them in which order? Ascending order, that is from the least to the greatest, right? So the least one would be C, then it would be A, then it would be D, 
and then the last one is C. So the right answer is C, A, B, D. Let's see who is still in the scoreboard on the scoreboard and has done really well. Okay, T, T, S, V. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce your ID. The ID you have used, but um, yes, you can see that you are on the top list now. And uh, Rapur, you have a streak with three correct answers in a row. Very good, great going. Okay, so those who are not on the scoreboard yet, guys, you have lots of question more. So you can come anytime on the scoreboard, just answer them well. Let's see the next question. Okay, which of the following are equal to 88.927? Check all that are true. that most of you couldn't answer it you need to be quick here now you see 88.8 sorry 927 so this is not we have how we have to read it right there's a special way of reading it so the, the way of reading it is 88 and 927 thousands why because the seven is in the thousands place thousands place now if we have to write that in the expanded notation you know that eight is in the tens place eight and the second eight is in the one space so eight times ten eight times one add them and then we have nine in the tenths place tenths place that means nine divided by ten so nine times one tenth plus two times one hundred which is in the hundredth place and seven times one thousand one thousand that means it's in the one in the thousandth place yeah let's see who is still topping in the scoreboard? Okay, Akshay, I can see you have come up again. And Rapur, great, has the highest answer streak of four. Great going. And all others on the scoreboard? Great, guys. Let's see the next question. Okay, arrange the numbers below from greatest to least. you guys i can see that only so many of you could answer this and the right answer is b a d and c the red option why is it so now you can see that decimal numbers are given over here and identifying which one is the bigger one or which one has the greatest value and the least value is sometimes a bit challenging now how do we do this i have a trick for that do you see that the maximum number of digits over here are four so my first Thing. first step which I would do is making all the numbers come down to four digits up to the decimal point. So let's write it 0 0.4100, which is 4100, 0.441, so I'll add a zero, 0 0.0414, which is 414, and 0 0.0441, sorry, yes, 0 0.0441. Now, forget that there is any decimal point here. Just see the numbers. 4,100, the greatest 4,100. And here we have 4,410, 414, and 441. So which one is the greatest one? 4,410, that means B, correct? So let me write B. Then comes A, which is 4,100, A, then comes 441 which is c and then comes 414 which is sorry 441 which is d 
and 414, which is C. Yeah, I hope this is an easy trick to, you know, arrange the numbers, decimal numbers in the right order. Right? So let's see how many of you are on the scoreboard still. Oh, Maria, I can see that you have top this time. And great going. Let's see the next question. Which, what is 894.28679 rounded to the nearest hundred? Hundred. Okay, so 25 of you have given the right answer. Very good. Now, who would like to explain me how this is right? Yes? Raise your hands so that I can see you guys. Okay, guy three, would you like to explain this? Yeah, Gayatri. Uh, so when you round, you have to look in the next place where you're rounding. Like if you're doing for hundred, then you have to look in the thousandth place, and if it's less. Like if it's five or greater, then you do it to twenty nine, like hundred. But if it's less than that, you have to round it to twenty eight. Okay. That, that was a very cute and very good explanation. I hope you guys have got this. Right? Okay. So here, as Gayatri said, we need to check the thousand. If we have asked for the hundred place, check the thousandth place. If that is five or greater than five, then you would add one to the hundredth place. Otherwise, you will leave it as it is, taking off all the numbers after that. So the right answer is this one. So great, guys. So who is on the scoreboard now? Maria, you're still leading. Very good. And Virat, you have the highest streak of three. Great going, guys. Okay, let's see the next question then. Find the product of 9,317 and 468. you guys have given me the right answer and yes a very easy question but we need time to solve this isn't it so you need to practice so that you would solve this in a very less amount of time so let's solve this together we have 8 times 7 which is 56 8 times 1 is 8 plus 5 is 13 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 is 25 8 times 9 is 72 plus 2 74 we put a zero, six times seven is 42, six times one is six, plus two is eight, six times three is 18, plus 18, and then six times nine is how much? 54 plus one, 55. And the last one for two zeros, four times seven is 28, four times one is four, plus two, six, four times three is 12, four times nine is 36, plus one, 37. If we add them all together, we will get 6, 5, 3, 0, 6, 3, and 4. So the right answer is this. Yeah. So most of you guys have given the right answer. Let's see who is still in this on the scoreboard. Okay. Akshay Bari, 
great and saya so you are back in the game with three in a row great going let's see the next question guys now 7.6 divided by 0.32 okay so you guys have given 15 of you guys have given the right answers i think most of you couldn't do it with in time you need to catch up with the speed guys now we have 7.6 divided by 0.32 you see the divisor is a decimal number so 7.6 divided by 0.32 we need to make the denominator a whole number for that we need to multiply by 100 when we do it in the denominator make sure you do it with the numerator as well so you have 32 in the denominator and 760 in the numerator now dividing 760 by 32 you guys see it goes twice we have 64 26120 we have next right so 32 goes into that thrice so 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 3 is 9 so we have 6 6 min 10 minus 4 is sorry 6 is 4 11 minus 9 is 2 so 240 so 32 goes into 240 7 times so 2 times 7 is 14 3 times 7 is 21 plus 1 22 so we have 10 minus 4 is 6 4 minus 2 is 2 and we have 26 we can make it 260 and then 32 goes into 260 Five times two times five is ten. One remain, and oh, sorry, one sixty. This is because we have borrowed one over here. So one sixty and uh, three times five is fifteen. So sixteen. So we come to remainder zero. So the right answer is twenty three point seven five. So who is still on the scoreboard? Okay, Akshay Bari, you are still leading. and are great you have the highest climber you have climbed six places great going okay let's see the next question solve this word problem so the question given to us a group of 3455 volunteers will be split evenly into three teams to repair homes after a storm The, re the remaining volunteers will bring water and supplies to the repair teams how many volunteers will be on each repair team and how many volunteers will help the water and with the water and supplies Five, four, one, and your time's up. Yes. So I can see that twenty-five of you could give the right answer, and uh, others couldn't. Let's see how we solve this. This is one of the easiest questions, even though it looks very lengthy. So they have three thousand four fifty-five volunteers, which are to be split into thirty-three teams. So we just have to divide three thousand. 455 by 33 you see if we divide this we have 1 which we gives 33 15 is remaining so now we have brought down 5 and we have 15 so we can't do it so we have to bring down the next 5 so 300 sorry 33 times 4 would go into 50 155 so that would be 3 times 4 is 12 3 times 4 is 12 again 132 so 3 and here we have 2 23 so one not four people will be put into the team here and the remaining 23 will be going with the 
uh, with volunteers uh, will be helping as uh, the water and with the water and supplies. So the right answer is the option number, sorry, the option blue, where one or four will be in each team and 23 will help with water and supplies. So let's see who is still topping. Okay, I can see that uh, Rapur, you have come up and uh, four of our players have reached the answer streak of four. Great going, great going guys. Okay, let's see the next question now. Solve the word problem. Jacob bought a rectangular piece of land with an area of 208 square meters. If the property has a length of 8 meters, what will its width be? Time's up. Yes, I could see half of you guys could give the right answer. So 26 is the right answer. Let's see. So we have a rectangular piece of land and the area is 208 square meters. Length is given as 8 meters. So we know that area of a rectangle is given by length times width. If area is 208 and length is 8, we don't know what is width we have to divide by eight on both the sides so that we can isolate W and eight times one and eight times one. If you divide two not eight by eight, you will get 26 as your answer. So the width is 26 meters. I think this was quite easy one, right? We have much challenging ones coming next. Be prepared for it guys. Let's see the scoreboard. Rapu, you're on the top, great. And you have also three in row and you're back in the game. Great going. Let's see the next question. On the word problem, you have Rachel makes jewelry. She has 381 beads to divide between 16 bracelets. She divides 381 by 16 and gets 23 with the remainder of 13 beads. She decides to continue adding one bead to each bracelet until she has no beads remaining. One, she has done with all 381 beads. Then, which of the following statements will be true? Okay, so the right answer is the red one and I can see that only 10 of you guys could give the right answer. Let's see the question again. She has 381 beads to be divided among 16 bracelets. So we have to divide 381 by 16. They have already given you the answer, so you need not do anything here. So they get 23 with a remainder of 13 beads. So that means 23 of the bracelets have their 16 beads in them. Now we have 13 beads which are remaining. What she does next is she tries putting all one by one, putting one each in each, each bracelet. Now we have 16 bracelets and only 13 beads. So if 13 are being put, we still have three bracelets which do not have the extra beads she's adding. So if we see the option that's been given to us, she will be having 13 bracelets with exactly 24 beads. Yes, exactly. They have told that previously they had 24 beads. She has added one extra to it, making it 24 beads each. And the remaining three do not have the extra bead. So the right option is the first one. Tricky, but was easy, isn't it? Let's see. Okay, Akshay, you have come on top now. And three players have hit the answer streak three. Great. Let's see the next question. 
solve the word problem. Bruce purchased a new shirt for fourteen dollars thirty-eight cents at the shopping mall. While he was there, he was he also bought a cookie for three dollars and nineteen cents and a hot dog for two dollars and thirty-two cents. How much did he spend in total? Just few seconds left. Okay, and your time is up. Yes, I can see that thirty-four of you guys could give the right answer to this. Very good. Okay, so he bought a shirt for fourteen dollars and thirty-eight cents. Then he also bought cookie for three dollars and nineteen cents, and hot dog for two dollars and thirty-two cents. Now, if we add them all together, eight plus two ten plus nine is nineteen. Six three plus three is six plus two is eight, and four plus three is seven plus two is nine and one. So nineteen point eight nine dollars. That was an easy one, isn't it? Okay. Yes, Akshay, you're still on top, and Kartik, you have five places up. Great going. Let's see the next question. Solve the word problem. Sandra is pouring lemonade from a pitcher. The pitcher currently holds eighty-four point six two ounces of water. If Sandra pours nine point four six ounces of lemonade into one glass and thirty-two point five nine ounces of lemonade into another glass, how much lemonade will remain in the pitcher? Okay, so only half of you could answer this question rightly. Yeah, so let's see the question. Chandra is pouring lemonade from a pitcher, and she it currently holds eighty four point six two ounces only. And from that, if she is pouring out nine point four six ounces into a glass and thirty two point five nine ounces of lemonade into another glass, how much lemonade will remain in the pitcher? In the pitcher. So, would anyone like to explain this to us? Yeah, raise your hand if you want to explain this. Okay, I can see Adya raising her hand. Akshay is raising his hand. Okay, I can see Akshay. Okay, Akshay would. Okay, this is. Here is Akshay. Okay. Um, yeah, when I solve this, to solve this problem, you need to add thirty-two point fifty-nine to nine point four six, and then subtract that the total from eighty-four point six two. Yeah, you need to subtract the total from eighty-six point three two. Great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Akshay. So yes, he is right now. If we add these two together, why are we adding this? Because this is the total amount that has been taken taken out of the pitcher. So we will add them first, and then subtract it from the total amount. So nine minus six is three. Five minus four is one, and twelve minus nine is three, and we have twenty three point one three. If we subtract eighty four 
0.62 minus 23.13. 12 minus 3 is 9. 5 minus 1 is 4. Yeah. Uh, have I made a mistake somewhere? Okay, let me do this again. 9.46 and 32.59. We need to add them. 15. 5 plus 5 is 10. I'm sorry. And 10 plus 2 is 12. And 4. 42.05. So if we subtract 42.05 from 84.62, we get here we have 7, here we have 5, here we have 2, and here 8 minus 4 is 4. So the answer would be 42.57. Okay, let's see. Okay, great. I can see Akshay on the top again. And uh, Saya, you have come up with your scores. And uh, RVSSRI is, is the highest climber with four places. Great. Awesome work, guys. Keep up the good work. Let's see the next question. Solve the word problem. Ashlyn bought strawberries with that weighed 2.4 pounds. The grocery store charges $2.66 per pound of strawberry. How much did Ashlyn pay for strawberries? Okay, only half of you or even less could give the right answer. And uh, let's see the question. So Ashlyn bought strawberries that weigh 2.4 pounds. And the grocery store, you can see that any grocery store would put the value over there of each of the things per pound. Now we need to calculate how much we have to pay there or how much would have Ashlyn paid for the strawberry. So if one pound costs, $2.65, then 2.4 pounds would cost 2.65 times 2.4. So 2.65 times 2.4. Now if we multiply this, 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 2 is 28. Sorry, 26. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10. And then 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So if we add them all together, we will be getting um, 6, and here we will have 3, and we have 6 here. So we have 3 digits after the decimal point. So we need to add a decimal point here after three digits from the right, one, two, and three. So our answer would be $6.36. Yes. So now let's see the scoreboard and then we will move ahead quickly to the next question. Okay. Great going Akshay, you're still on top. And Dishita, you're back in the game with three in row, great. And I can see, still see Saya, Maria, all, and uh, Rapur, all you guys are here on the scoreboard still. Guys, those who haven't got a chance to get your name on the scoreboard, you still have a few more questions left. So, don't get disheartened. Let's see. What is the area of the model that is shaded both blue and gray? Note, each small square represents 100.
seconds left. Okay, I can see that most of you could not give the right answer to this question. And yes, the right option is the option blue. Only five of you could give the right answer. Let's see this question. So they have asked you to find what is the area of the part which is colored or highlighted in both gray as well as blue. Now, if you see this part, only this part is colored or highlighted with both gray and blue. Now, they have also given us something in the hint there that note each small square represents 100. Now, that, there is the twist, guys. You see, they have given you the area of one of the squares over here, this part. And you know that area of a square is side times side. If area is 100, that means what should the sides be? Can you guys post it in the chat section that what would the sides be if the area is 100, 100, yeah? Give me a thumbs up when you're done. Okay, I can see. Okay, looks like you guys have trouble with this. Let me tell you guys. So, 100 is got by multiplying 1 tenth with 1 tenth because squares have all the sides equal, isn't it? So, area of a square is side times side where both the sides are equal in length, right? So, if we have to get 100, we have one tenth on each side. Now, let's see the diagram which they have given us. So the length of this part is one tenth. Similarly, length of this part is also one tenth. Now see all the colored ones in both blue and gray. If you count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there are eight. So eight times one tenth gives you eight tenths. And then we have over here, this was the length. Let me take, take this as the width. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven tenths. So if I have to calculate the area of this part, which is both in blue and gray, then the answer would be seven tenths of eight tenths. So the right answer is, it represents seven tenths of eight tenths. I hope you guys have understood this one. Yeah? If yes, give me a thumbs up, guys. Yes. Okay. Great, Adit. So let's see the next one. Um, this gives you the scoreboard. Akshay, you're still on top. Very good. And Harshini. You have climbed up seven places. Great, I said you, anything can turn any moment, isn't it? You guys still have few more to go. So Maria, I can still see your name. Saya also and Rapur, great. And Sarar, great going guys. Let's see the next question. Solve the word problem again. Amanda made 9.6 liters of lemonade. She decides she wants to pour the lemonade into glasses. If each glass can hold 0.4 liters, how many glasses will be needed to hold all the lemonade? So I can see 31 of you could give the right answer. Yes. So there is a trick how to answer this question. 
and i think most of you guys know it those who don't know it listen to this carefully guys amanda she wants to she made a 9.6 liters of lemonade and now she has to pour it into glasses that can hold 0.4 liters now what should we do here if she needs to put them all equally into all these glasses we need to divide them yeah so 9.6 divided by 0.4 again we come down to the place where we have a, a decimal number in the denominator so multiply that by 10 and also the numerator by 10 so that you get 96 on the numerator and 4 in the denominator so 96 divided by 4 is 4 times 2 is 8 4 times 4 is 16 so the answer is 24 yeah now what is the trick what if if the question is asked to divide or how much will the will each of the glass get in all those cases you will apply division if they have asked given for one and asked for many given for one and asked for many let me write many okay asked for many you would multiply okay m with m if they have asked for one then you would divide yeah keep this m and m not the m and m uh, chocolates okay uh, so one and one ask for one you would divide if they have asked for many multiply okay i hope this trick will work and uh, let's see the scoreboard Great, Akshay is still on top. And uh, Swasim, I can see that you have you are up with three places. Great going. And all those two, all those who are in the scoreboard are still there. We still have two more questions to go. Let's see who will reach the top at the end. Okay, solve the word problem. A bag of soil that weighs 27 pounds is evenly spread out among five garden planters. What is the amount of soil each planter will receive? Enter the answer as a decimal. Okay, so only less time was given for this question regarding, you know, considering that this was a very easy one and I wanted to check you guys. Okay, I can see that 26 students have given the right answers. Like half of you guys have given the right answers. Very good. 5.4 is the right answer. Let's see. Um, a bag of soil that weighs 27 pounds is evenly spread out in the garden. So, and uh, what will be the soil that each planter will receive? Now, I had just given you guys a hint where when you, they have asked for one or each, you need to divide. So 27 divided by 5 will give you 5.4 as your answer. So that's how you go. This shows me that you guys have got the trick. Let's see your scoreboard. Okay, I can see that Shraddha already has, you know, taken her place on the scoreboard. Great. And actually, you're still on top. And... Uh, I don't know how I would pronounce this, Catpus. Okay, you are four places up and you have the highest climber. Great. Let's see the next question. Which expression is represented by the model below? Note each small rectangle represents one tenth. up okay i can see that only nine of you could give the right answer let's see the question so they have asked you which expression is represented by the model below and each small rectangle represents one tenth now if you see this diagram or this model which they have given here guys you see that there are four holes 
that each of them are divided into 10 parts. That's why they have given you that each rectangle represents one tenth. That means each of these is one tenth. Now, if you see only three holes are covered completely, whereas in the fourth part, the fourth rectangle which we have, we have just one, two, three, four, five, six, which is colored or highlighted. So I can say that since each of these is one, one tenth and there are six parts, six of them are there colored. So six tenths is colored or is colored out of this. Now, if I have to represent the six tenths in terms of decimals, what would the answer be? Yeah, I want all your answers in your chat section there. Be quick guys, I give you 10 seconds. Put your answers in the chat section. What's the value of six tenths in terms of decimals? Okay, I can see the answers coming. Yes. So the right answer for this is 0.6. Now I have three holes, one, just a second, sorry, one, two, and three holes with 0.6. So I can simply write this as 3 plus 0.6, giving us 3.6. So we have got the first term. Now let's see what does the second one has to do here. The one with the different colors. Now if you see here, we have six colors over here, isn't it? Yeah. So each color represents one of these. That means I can say that this 3.6 is divided using these colors into six parts. So 3.6 divided by six is the right expression for the given model. Yeah. So the answer for this question is 3.6 divided by six. Now I have a question for you guys again. What is the value of 3.6 divided by six? Yeah. Who would like to give me the answer and explain me? You guys can raise your hand. Okay, I think I have Adya here. Multiply the denominators and you'll get 0 0.6. Okay, Six. multiply the denominator by 10. By 10? Multiply okay, we have... the denominator and the numerator and the denominator by 10. Okay, so this is and your you answer? Get the... mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so this multiplying by num the numerator and denominator by 10 is done when there is a decimal in the denominator. Now, if I write this 3.6 divided by 6, 3.6 divided by 6 in terms of fraction, do I have a denominator with a decimal? No. So in this case, we need not have to do that. Directly divide 3.6 by 6. You, you see 3 is not divisible by 6. So you put 0 and a decimal point. And then we have 36. 6 times 6 is 36. So the right answer for this is 0 0.6. Yeah, I hope you guys were able to understand or fill all those gaps which you guys had in uh, this second domain of grade five. Let's now move ahead to the next thing we have. That is just a second. The last part okay so you guys quickly go and call your parents so that i can give them some very interesting information yeah and let me know with your thumbs up that your parents are here
Okay, I can see few of the parents. I can see Adya's parent. I can, yeah. Yes. Hey, parents. So today's was an insightful session and congratulations to all the kids on successfully revising the second domain that is numbers and operations and base 10. Now, what next? Now, this is a marathon and you have several milestones that are to be covered. So the next is the homework part. You will be receiving practice worksheets on your emails. So you will just have to work on them. And what is coming next is the third domain, which is fractions, which will be taking place, uh, which will be taken on 23rd of April, 2021. At the same time, that is 6 p.m. CST. Now, you know that 98 percentile comes up with the, you know, new events every month. So let me now tell you about something new. So the new event is very interesting where all the children will, you know, find their liking in. It's, it's true that every child loves to draw, draw. Every child likes to, you know, come up with their own fictional stories. Maybe it is something regarding um, a superhero dog, or it can be some, something with a superhero himself or herself or imagining some fictional characters. Now, all these can be brought to life by the next event we have, which is 98 percentile comic. So 98 percentile is bringing to you comics where you can unleash your inner cartoonist and tell a story with your comic strips. Now, these will be for the students of grade one to six and will be commencing in June 2021. And there will be no participation fee for this. And cherry on the top is that you can have or get an opportunity to win $1,000 worth of awards and scholarship. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So with hurry up and now register to it. Uh, we have the link given to you in the chat section there. Kindly have a look. Meanwhile, let me share you guys the video for the scene. done with today's um, session now there's just one last thing we can do is have a group photo with this one and, and capture this wonderful moment so let me stop sharing my screen and uh, you guys i request you all to please switch on your cams so that we can have a nice group photo together
okay thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed today's session let's meet in the next session then yes okay with fractions and i'll make sure i'll bring you all cool tips and tricks to remember how to solve all those yes great thank you so much for joining guys see you in the next class bye bye